Well, things were heating up with Craig's car. It seems pretty calm on the track right now. Stay with us. Welcome back. Safety crews attending to some of the drivers that were involved in our first incident here of the 2009 season from Daytona International Speedway. And amazingly enough, there was a spin in turn three, and we knew that was going to bring the caution out. And while we were watching that, the melee began right at the entrance to pit road. Contact is already made there. You see cars spinning. There's the 09. Yeah, there's significant contact with the 48 of J.R. Fitzpatrick and the one of Tom Hessert. Situation where Tom Hessert hadn't really locked the car down or stopped it from moving, and the 48 just didn't have anywhere to go. We saw that Zaxby's for the 09 of John West Townley. He's involved in this incident. He Green actually flag conditions, and will those crew, crew chiefs start biting their nails as to will a caution come out, or will they have to make a green flag pit stop? They told him. Welcome back. It might be the kiss of death for us to go to caution break or to break because a caution comes out a big one once again at Daytona in the Arca Remax series. That's Michael Annette in the 0-1. He won't make it three out of four at the Super Speedways this season. Big accident between he and Allie Owens. They got tied up and then the domino effect happened after that. Let's take another look. That's Eddie Mercer, the 51. He may make contact. Looks like they almost got tied up. It looked like he didn't make contact initially, and it, it maybe got Allie out of the throttle a little bit, Kenny. Yeah, it uh, it was real close. I mean, whether he did or not, but they just kept wrecking. You can see the sun there, too, isn't helping him at all. Yeah. You see Bill Baird sliding, but there was no contact for Bill Baird until later on here. And then the 99 made contact with the 44 Frank Kimmel. Allie spins back up into the racetrack. Steve Arpin runs into her. Now, one Watch of the cars trying to continue. That's and Benny Chastain in the 75. He actually bounces off two other cars and then hits the 45 as well. So looks like Benny got three. So again, quite a few cars involved. Let's ride along. That's that's Frank right behind his nephew, Will. Frank got hit. You, you could hear him get hit and turn him around. Looked like Will must have gotten through it without any incident. This is Matt Carter's on board the Stein seed Ford. You see the spin right from Matt goes to the bottom of the racetrack, does a nice job running down the apron now. You see Frank spinning behind him. Matt almost gets collected by the right. 45 car of Nur Ali. 13 cars in total involved in this one. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's the 19 of Ali Owens getting hit by Steve Arpin, and then that may have been the 30 of Terry, Terry Jones, Jones right yeah. behind the 20 of Steve Arpin. Steve slides into the infield wall there. There's another view. There's Bill fighting up the racetrack. Doesn't appear to have that much damage right now, but I think he's going to get collected here. There's Nur yeah. Ali, the 45, against the outside wall. There's a 16 going to hit Nur as well as the 75 of Benny Chastain. And they're still wrecking behind him. Watch the 51 of Eddie Mercer now. He, they like were he had very, a very close. They, he may have just touched the back of Ali Owens. Eddie is able to get by, but Ali spins up really nothing she could do at this point. Slides across the racetrack. You can see that the glare from the sun, the as you've mentioned a couple times, that didn't help that situation. No, no. Go down it. there, although people are sneaking down there a little bit. <laughs> wow. Cars are moving around quite I was a bit. Say, they really things are, are yeah. heating up already. Whoa. Another problem in turns three and four. The 51. Oh, that's Mercer. Eddie Mercer involved in it. The 29. Matt Carter, Matt Carter Mikey Kyle. Also involved. Ryan Fisher in that 50. Oh. oh, no. And then the 28 runs right into the back of them. Chris Cockrum. 99, John down. Ferrier also involved. You see the eight, Brian Scott, Ali, Kyle also going by. Mikey had a great run going as well as Brian Scott. Let's see if we can take a look at back at what happened here. See, there's Mario Goslin. Mikey Kyle kind of chases up the hill and runs into Mario Goslin. That's what starts as Matt Carter with nowhere to go, as well as Eddie Mercer. Patrick Schalter does a nice job getting getting through that. Steve Blackburn, or excuse me, Parker. Kligerman. Kligerman was involved in that in the 77. He didn't get yeah, you see the damage on the left front. Of, that's the black car back on the grass down there. There's another view. You're going to see Mario Goslin. He's going to run and 
Going to move up the hill, then Mikey Cow kind of, the air just, I think, takes him up the hill and he makes contact with him, Kenny. Yeah, but it winds up the same thing. You just plain old run into him. You know, you can give it a bunch of reasons why, yeah. but you kind of got to be responsible for the front of your car. I think the six of Lofton actually got into that as well. He uh, brushed somebody that was coming back down the racetrack, it looked like, too, so maybe some damage on his car. Bobby Garrett able to get by on the outside, and then we saw Chris Cockrum, the 28, come in late and make contact. There's another view. There is the contact between Mikey Kyle, the 29, Mario Goslin, the 11. Matt Carter gets caught by Mario Goslin, goes up the hill towards the outside wall. Eddie Mercer comes along with nowhere to go. There's a six of Justin Lofton. He makes a little bit of contact with the 29, of Mikey Kyle, there's Will Kimmel at 68. He makes some contact as well. Tough day for the Kimmels. We saw Frank Kimmel early on out of this. You see Chris Cockrum staying right on the back bumper of Bobby Gerhardt. Looks like Gerhardt's trying to slow down, but he's got Cockrum right behind him. And as Gerhardt goes high, Cockrum goes low and right into two cars parked on the racetrack. Yeah, well, Chris, uh, Chris Cockrum would have done well to have, uh, have heated the Bobby Gerhardt's yeah. trying to slow down there. Yeah. There's another view. They, Matt Carter makes hard, hard contact with the outside wall. And there's that smoke in the sun. The difficult views that these guys have. 81, Craig Ghost coming in on the inside. There's Ryan Fisher's on board. You see Gabby DiCarlo. Gabby's going to get caught up in this as well. There's the contact between Ryan Fisher and Gabby DiCarlo. Another, another shot to Ryan Fisher's car, the baby mum mum car, Ooh, mm. and yet another one. I think I'll grab the steering wheel back again. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you don't take your helmet off and you don't get your seatbelt unstrapped. Watch Patrick Schiffer. He's going to get through this now. Watch this. Oh, how close. Uh, he gassed it back up to shoot that gap. He did really good. He got off when he needed to and then gassed it back up. But you can see where that sun oh, is difficult. factoring in there. Not much of a view at all for any of these houses. Ooh. There went our camera. Yeah, Eddie Mercer took care of that camera in the back of Matt Carter Stein C car. There's Matt's roof camera. And again, Matt Carter hit that wall hard. Sure did. And your time is very valuable, so thank you for joining us. Hey, the thank you guys day. for having me up here. Uh, this has been great, and I think we got another wreck right here. Oh, another one. Never mind, I'm not leaving yet, right? <laughs> Into the wall he goes. That's the 39 of Michael Phelps. Take another look at this. See, that's Joey Logano on the inside in that 25 car. He just gets a little bit loose as Joey Logano goes by. John West Tonley, the 09 was behind him. And he's going to slide, make the long slide. And it's so, it's so great that years ago they paved that whole area. A long time, Kenny, we were coming here and that was all grass. And it, you, you're upside down. All bets down. were off then. Yeah, yeah. Now they did that a number of years ago and just plain old got loose. How? how how tough would this be? Look how fast he's going straight backwards. Yeah. He did a nice job of staying in the throttle to get that car down off the banking out of harm's way. And now he uh, he goes for the slide for life there. And you see the front tires locked up. So he had that looks like he had the front wheels locked up and unfortunately still makes hard contact with the inside wall. Yeah, that's not a good place to wreck either. You know, you, you're coming out of the corner there. You're trying to get straightened back up. And sometimes this place just feeds you for a loop and off you go, you know. We didn't have safer barriers there until just a couple years ago, too. So that's a good thing. Welcome back. We're under caution for the fifth time today. And this time it is Bobby Gerhardt, five-time winner of this race. Doesn't look like he's going to be making it six again just before we went to commercial break we apologize we had some audio issues we believe those are fixed now so we are going to see the safety crews attend to bobby gerhardt take a look at what happened we saw bobby slowing down there not able to keep up with that pack and look his right front tire goes you can see the debris fly and the rubber bobby makes pretty hard contact with the outside safer barrier and then as he as he coasted down to the inside of the racetrack, somebody came by on the extremely inside of fast. him, extremely fast, really yeah. close. Now remember, Bobby Gerhardt had a fracture in his neck from Pocono last year. Yeah. And so limited time in the race car. It was two years ago. Two years yeah, year before last. Yeah. Right here is that yeah. car going by, Phil. Bobby's coming by just 
barely avoids Bobby and that's that was very close. Looked like maybe the 23 is what that looked like that might have been. Outside. He laid off him to get a little bit of momentum and boy he got it didn't he Kenny? Yes he did. Oh, oh trouble. Justin Lofton into the back of the 60. Patrick Shelton spins into the wall he goes and now Kimball spins around. Oh, and a big hit on Justin or on the 60 of Patrick Sheltra. Our sixth caution of the day comes out, and what a big hit that was from the 23 of Larry Hollenbeck. Top three series. And here's some good news. On Saturday, this horrifying accident in the Arca Remax season opener put the driver of the number 60 car, Patrick Sheltra, in the hospital. Doctors diagnosed a compression fracture in his vertebra that will not require surgery. The 22-year-old Sheltra was released from the hospital this morning and is reportedly planning to resume racing as soon as he can.